Once upon a time, there were two worlds. One was a world torn by endless war, where strong lands devoured weak, and peace was a distant dream. Eventually, only a few great realms remained, glaring at each other across brittle borders. But then came a great king, one who would change this world forever. We'll be arriving shortly, Mr. President. Hmm. What in the world? Chapter 1. The Fall of the House of Tildrum. My lord, the preparations are complete. Excellent. Then let us begin. <laughs> Happened. I am Evan Petty Whisker Tildrum, King of Ding Dong Dell. Who are you? Never mind who. The question is where? Huh? huh? Well, now, would you look at that? Stay where you are! Wait! <sighs> huh, I guess it was kind of a long shot. I was, hmm, I was on my way to the summit. So this, this was, or this has to be a dream. That, or I'm. Oh. Intruder, somebody arrest this man. Hmm? Where is everyone? Nella, Nella, where are you? Oh, she must be preparing for the ceremony. <sighs> Sorry, but I'm not really in the mood to play, little guy. Excuse me! How dare you speak to me like that? I told you I am a king. <laughs> yeah, sure you are. Hey, can I ask you something? Am I dead? What? What? What the? Was that an explosion? It, is this your doing? Hmm. Alright, forget about where you are from, or where you are, where you are from now. Let's just suppose for a second that what the kid says is true. So you're the king around here, huh? Ugh. Yes, how many times do I have to tell you? 
All right. All right, Your Majesty, I'm going to go take a look around. Can you be a good boy and wait here for me? Hey! Me. So, welcome to Nino Kuni 2. A little bit different than what I'm used to playing as far as, like, on the channel, but uh, this game looked really, really cool. And I'm not super into JRPGs, but this one seemed a little bit different. So uh, I'm going to give it a try. Well now. Controlling the camera. You can use right stick to move the camera around, right stick in to reset it. Horizontal and vertical controls can be reversed in the options menu. Okay. Pretty standard. Teach me to get trigger happy. They're not here to protect you. Get back. Yeah. So this is the main reason I was kind of interested in this game. Is one of the reasons I don't like JRPGs is because of the turn-based combat and everything. And this game seems a little bit more hands-on and just interesting. So close-range attacks are divided into two types. Quick, light attacks performed with X, slower, heavier attacks with Y. The amount of damage inflicted will be de dictated by a combination of the attacking character's melee attach, attack strength and the defending character's physical defense. Come here, boy. Got him. Are you okay? Uh, Don't come any closer. Somebody arrest this man. Don't let him get away. <sighs> Open your eyes. Nobody's coming. Nobody good at any rate. It looks like uh, we both need to get out of here. What? What are you talking about? Hey. Can't you see? It's a coup. What? What? A coup? Here. Oi. Have you found the boy? Sir. No, sir. The men should be reporting in shortly. Come on, we're getting out of here. But, but... But. It's kind of weird that some of it is voice acted and some of it's not. Obviously, it makes it harder on me to read it because I can't read. To strike while our enemy was preoccupied with preparations for the ceremony. This was a very clever strategy indeed, my lord. If only King Leonard had been less robust, he would have succumbed to the poison all the sooner, and our plot would have come to fruition all the more quickly. <laughs> <laughs> what does it matter now? Did we not plan for just such stubbornness on his part? King Leonard's untimely demise was effected without a hitch. Now the only obstacle remaining is the boy. Yes, my lord. And once he is eliminated, the throne will be ours for the taking. It is time for mouse kind to assume its rightful place. Oh. <laughs> lord Mousinger, the boy, he... He's escaped. What? No matter. We will find him soon enough. Or rather, the Black Knight will. Oh boy. A Black Knight? A real Black Knight? Oh. No. Guess was uh, I guess this was the explosion we heard. Hey. You said your name was Evan, right? I'm Roland. And you're the king, King Evan. 
Yes, at least I was. I don't quite understand what's going on. Ding Dong Dale has been at peace for generations. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it has, but still, water's run deep. Mm -hmm. Hmm? I should know. I run a country myself. All right. We have to move. You need to get out of the castle and fast. This guy seems to not have a very many questions, considering he's not even from this, you know, world or area or where, like whatever the case may be. Hello. Seems he's breathed his last. Poor guy. So I can open the menu. Items. Sidearm. Quests. Escape from Ding Dong Dale. <laughs> such a weird name. Alright. Let's book it. Over there. Locking onto enemies. By pressing right stick in and locking onto a specific enemy, you'll be able to concentrate your attacks on a target of your choice. When locked onto an enemy, you can press left or right on the D-pad to switch to a different target. You! Ow! Oh. Hmm. Yeah, screw your lamps. <laughs> you just teleported. Wham! Wham! Hello? Yeah! Hey. Roll it, wait! The soldier is up ahead. What is it? What about them? The red uniforms, those mean that they're elite guardsmen. Which means we don't want to mess with them, right? Well, perhaps if Nella were here, but... Nella? Yes! Yeah, she's ever so strong and awfully kind, and she knows everything about everything. If she were here, we would have nothing to fear from the likes of them. Huh. She sounds like quite a woman. But for now, it's just the two of us. Which means we'll need to take a different approach. You really think we can do this? Shh. Shh. <laughs> Stick to the bushes and move quickly and quietly. Sir. Oh. Over there. You. Oh, that was. <laughs> I think I'm screwed. Ah, run away. Oh, run! Yeah! Oh, somehow I am doing this. Ah! <laughs> I am a... I am a madman! <laughs> well, we completely screwed that up, but it worked... somehow. <laughs> This place is a maze. Those, these corridors look just the same as all the others. Hmm. Nella says it's two confused attackers. Guess that makes sense if you're being attacked by outsiders. Wait, can we go this way? No, that's the way we came. And it doesn't look like we can do anything up here. Ha! Hop! Hop! The map menu. Pressing select will open the map menu. Doing so while in a dungeon will only show you areas you have already explored. Use it to your, uh, use it to help you if you get lost. But beware or be aware that you won't be able to look at the map when in battle. You'll need to wait for a lull in the action in order to get your bearings. So, ah, I see.
Oh, I keep hitting left stick in trying to do something, and it's just uh, it's opening that back up, because on the left it says you can do that. Oh no! Trapped. Blocking. While LB is held, the character you are controlling will block incoming enemy attacks. This will limit movement, but will also reduce the amount of damage taken. Use this command wisely and you'll be able to reduce the damage from unavoidable attacks or weather a flurry of blows while you wait for your chance to counter. Don't get away. <sighs> Okay, so you still take damage. It's not like a full block or anything like that. <laughs> there they are. That should have been a woman's voice. You! Seize them. Mm. Yeah, reinforcements. Good lord. I'm so close to death. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> Not gonna work against her. Dang, those look cool. Looks like the end of the road. See ya. I'm assuming this is Nella. Evan, I came as quickly as I could. Nella! Aranella! Evan! Thank goodness you're alright. Mm. Yes, thanks to Roland here. Mm. Roland. Mm -hmm. Let's save the introductions until after we've dealt with these guys. Evasion. Left stick plus LB can use to nimbly evade an attack. While evading, you'll be briefly invulnerable. Uh, so if you time things just right, you can escape powerful onslaught unscathed. That's what I was looking for earlier, but we hadn't learned that yet. <laughs> Called Skeleplasms. It's pretty cool. A little bit more unique than just a regular skeleton. Thanks. We're lucky you found us when you did. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much, Nella. I don't deserve your thanks. I should have reached you sooner. But, today of all days, how could they? Who exactly are you, and how did you get into the castle undetected? I'm Roland, and I'm as curious about how I got here as you are. Roland helped me. He saved my life. <laughs> Finally beginning to see reason, huh? Hmm. Very well. If His Majesty counts on you as an ally, then so do I. Forgive my suspicion. I am merely doing my duty. My name is Aranella, and I have served as Evan's governess since his birth. You're not just a governess, though. You're a bodyguard, too. Yes. I suppose you could say that, yes. Although, I've never had to prove it until today. What's going on, Nella? Chancellor Mousinger has started a rebellion. He means to kill you. What? Mousinger? But he was my father's most trusted advisor. I must speak with him. I must make er I must make him see reason. No. It won't work. This is no spur of the moment uprising. This thing was planned. If he says he wants you dead, he means it. But 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 we can just or we can't just. Aranella, do you know of a safe way out of here? Yes. There is a hidden passage that leads to the sewers. I doubt many in the castle know of its existence. There's always the sewers. That door will lead us there. Isn't that the one we just came through? Unless it was that one. Yeah, that one's the one that came through. Open sesame. Oh. Your majesty, you're all right. Mm. Yes, thanks to Nella and Roland. Huh. No signs of fighting around here. Yeah. Mousinger's main target appears to have been His Majesty. This part of the castle is far enough away from the royal chambers to have escaped his attention. Those of us who are injured or unable to fight have been gathering here for safety. I think the soldiers probably know we're here, but there's no way out. So they have us where they want us regardless. We're as good as prisoners. Oh my! And I mustn't stay long. If I do, I will be putting you all in danger. Your Majesty. 
I don't know if this or if these will be of any use to you, but I'd like you to have them. You obtained five pots of soar away. Thanks. Thank you very much. If you're not sure about how to apply herbs of this kind, just come back and speak with me. It's simple enough. We will. Thanks again. I'm sure that's super easy to do, but just just to indulge her. Hello there. Would you like me to tell you about or tell you a little about medicinal plants? Yeah. Yes, please. Well, if you want to use them, the first thing you'll need to do is select items from the main menu and go to the tab where your medicines are kept. You can use them during battle or afterwards whenever you're in danger or in need of a boost, basically. If you need more details, take a look at the notes I gave you with those herbs. You should be able to find them in the library section of the menu. I wish you luck in your endeavors, however you may be, or whoever you may be. And I hope you succeed in keeping King Evan from harm. Neat. Well, let's find this sewer, I guess. Oh, wrong way. <gasps> What's that? Hi, quickly! Oh, no one's here, Mr. Black Knight. He's a stormtrooper. Who was that now? Shh. That was the Black Knight. If he's on the prowl, we can't very well go blinding or blindly around the palace. We'll have to stay here a while and keep watch. But who is the Black Knight? Hmm. Whoever he is, I don't much like the look of him. He is Mousinger's most trusted and most seldom seen underling. Very little is known about him, but it's rumored that he gr gained great power through the use of forbidden magics. Whatever the truth of such tale, or tales, one thing is certain. If we face him, we will die. Oh. You mean not even you can beat him, Nella? Then we'll need to be doubly careful not to draw his attention. Hmm. Yes, yes, we will. We can start by making you a little less conspicuous. We getting a change of clothes? Huh? 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 Oh, yeah. Looking dapper. Say. How do I look? Guard's great coat. Oh, yes, it suits you very well. <laughs> you should count yourself lucky there was something in your size. Where do we even get that? Oh, and you'll be needing this. I noticed that you don't have one already. What is it? It's called an arms band. It's for storing and transporting weapons. It allows the wearer to carry a variety of weapons with them and call on any special skills with with which they have or are imbued. Wow. Wow, this little thing does all that. Now. That sword of yours, unless you equip it to your armband, you won't be able to call on it on its full potential. I'm going to hand you another one. You'll need to equip that one as well. Broadsword. Okay. All right, so both swords need to be equipped on to your or to the arms band. Got it. Do you have any other weapons? Well, there's my pistol, but I'm pretty much out of ammo. Not to worry, weapons equipped on an arms band will have their ammunition replenished automatically. Uh, they, they will, but wow. Mm -hmm. Very good. I would suggest that you equip your sword, swords and pistol to your arm band right away. Okay. The equipment and skills menu can be accessed from the main menu. On the melee weapon tab, you can equip up to three melee weapons to your armband, allowing you to switch between them in battle. Only one ranged weapon can be equipped. On the apparel tab, you can equip various clothes, or clothes, armor, footwear, and accessories that will affect your party members' physical and magical defense. On the skills tab, you can assign skills and abilities your party members have learned to the skill palette, allowing you to access them quickly and efficiently 
or effectively during battle. Okay. Equipments and skills. Character parameters. Each character has five numerical parameters which indicate their various strengths and aptitudes. Melee attack strengths. Uh, strength tells you how powerful any attack and ability using close range weapons will be. Ranged attack strength tells you how much power or powerful an attack how powerful an attack and ability using long range weapons will be. Magical, okay, same stuff. Physical defense tells you how much resistance the character will have to physical attacks. Uh, magical defense. Parameters are calculated based on the character's natural stats plus one or plus those of their equipment. Not all weapons can be used by everyone, but armor and accessories can. Okay. So broadsword, rat slicer, and sidearm. It looks so weird because he's like, oh, like now with the armor, like this clothes, like these set of clothes on, I'm like, ah, I'm a swordsman. But then he's like, but I'm packing heat, baby. I don't know. It just looks weird. All right. When you have multiple weapons on the ar or weapons equipped to the arms band, you can switch between them with LT. There are various reasons why you might want to switch weapons, but the main aim is to try and always be using one whose zing gauge is as close to 100% as possible. Your weapon's zing gauge uh, zing gauges are displayed next to them in the top left of the screen and will gradually fill as you land blows on enemies. You can choose between three settings which will govern how weapon switching is performed, manual, semi-automatic, the default setting, and automatic. In the manual mode you will need to press LT every time you want to switch weapons. This mode is aimed at advanced players who want to maximize control. In semi-automatic mode it will automatically switch to a weapon with high attack power or zing after a skill is used but will also still have the ability to switch manually. In automatic mode you will be unable to switch manually but you can be sure that you are always using a weapon with high power or high attack power or zing. This will be helpful for beginners. Your weapon switching setting can be changed in the equipment and skills menu and also by pressing select while in battle. Find the setting which best suits your style. There are a few more details to do with how the zing system works that will also need to be explained. <laughs> <laughs> But this can uh, wait until you've learned some skills. Okay. So I can... Okay, it literally just cycles back and forth. Alright, that's everything equipped to your armband. Equipping multiple weapons to the arms band will allow you to switch between them quickly and easily in the middle of battle. So if you happen to come across any more, be sure to put them on there. Thanks. Thanks, I will. Evan, this is for you. You obtained Evan's Essentials. Gosh. What is it, Nella? It's not exactly the best quality, but it's all I could throw together at such short notice. It should be enough to help you get by for now. I put an arms band in there for you as well. Or you too. As long as I'm with you, I'll try to see that you don't need to use it. But if anything does happen, I need you to promise me that you'll stand up by, for yourself. You cannot give up. Do you hear me? Mm. Of course, Nella. He's strong boy. Nobody knows who put them there or when, but the mysterious stone monuments known as Waystones can be found all over the world. Did say world, right? Over the world, yeah. Simply examining one is enough to restore all your HP and MP to heal any status ailments you're suffering from. Uh, and all for the amazing price of absolutely nothing, so it's free! They'll also allow you to save in locations where it's not possible to do so via the menu, or the main menu. So if you see one, be sure to go up and take a look. From the main menu, press Y or press um, select and open the, save, or the, open the save screen from the system menu. Bear in mind that it's not possible to do this in dungeons. All right. So I'm assuming 
were in because this is considered a dungeon i think we would not be able to do it in here so if we want to boom bam and then save your progress so far yes and then i don't have a save file yet because we're brand new save complete okay kind of torn i'm not sure whether or not i want to finish out this dungeon and get to the next save point or if we should just cut it here uh so i think we'll just cut it here just to make sure because it's already we're already 30 minutes in so i don't I want, I don't want these episodes to get like crazy long so anyways thank you so much for watching i know this is a new series and you know a lot of people might not be super interested in this game but uh it's just something i wanted to try out and see if anybody was interested in because i'm kind of interested in trying to play it and uh, i don't play a lot of jrpgs so this is going to be a nice little like change of pace so anyways thank you so much and uh i'll see you guys in the next episode so see you there